So um, we have two, three tens, ten of swords, ten of wands, ten of pentacles. We have three sixes. This is a major, so we have six of wands, which is very good. Six of uh, Swords, which indicates, you know, moving from one situation to a better situation. And it's disruptive, but you're going to come out on top, okay? This is also a card of massive karma, especially in the reverse position with the Six of Coins. Whenever I do reading for clients I, and I see this card, it explains the dynamic between two people because karma from, you know, ancestors, um, from from the the nature of the relationship like re recurring patterns in one relationship and the next and you see like the same type of themes in the people that you date for example there's definitely some karma being restored here and it's being restored in a little bit of a harsh manner coming through for this month so this is going to be a very powerful powerful month and I've been seeing that for a lot of um, fire signs in general, for Leos and Sagittarius too. They have a very similar theme, all the readings. And that's why I started doing the readings by element. Because I'm getting like same themes across the board for all the elements. Which indicates to me that there's definitely planetary transits affecting, you know, either trining, affecting, or squaring, trining, squaring, opposing fire signs. So there's definitely some harsh aspects happening right now that are coloring the, the spread, okay? And I, I do sense as well, um, eclipse seasons are very, very uncomfortable times for fire signs. And I do feel that um, it was a full moon lunar eclipse. So basically, um, it's it's a situation where I feel like not only is it at a full moon, but it's sort of like you have to look at some situation in your life, which was something that happened on, on September 27th. You have to look at some situation in your life objectively. You can no longer be swayed by your emotion. You have to really, really actively make a decision based on rationality rather than letting your heart rule your head. So that's why like the moon was being eclipsed out by the shadow of the earth and basically when the moon is eclipsed out it can physically be um, a female figure that is phased out of our lives for good okay it can be them transitioning over to the other side it can be movement the the person the female figure some someone like some female figure some feminine energy is being eclipsed out of our lives and I do feel that for a lot of you, it might have been on the mortal plane when the other person passes over to the other side, okay? Um, because it's it's like the, the shadow of the, the earth covering, blocking out the moon. So it's the transition from the earthly plane into the other side of the veil. And it's corroborated here, too, with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords, like I said, the Sixes are, are major, major trauma, um, karmic events. And in this situation, I do feel that when I read, too, and um, this is, you know, moving, moving from one, moving from a troublesome path, past, into safer water but in this regards when it's caught in between ten of swords and the tower it can be somebody physically moving into the other side like crossing over okay there's definitely some emotional upheaval some some shake up in your foundation there's definitely some major major unexpected events that happen and it was like a game changer and I do feel it's kind of like one of those reversal of fortune where things were going really, really well and then this happens and you're just like, damn, that's a, a really big hiccup in my life that I don't need right now. So as a result of it, you're forced to, like I said, look at things a little bit more rationally and to leave your feelings out of a specific situation in order for you to think clearly and in order for you to be able to make better decisions. 
So with all the reverse cards, I do sense that you really have to implement this sense of rationality and objectivity so that you can move ahead without and unstuck yourself without the blockages, okay, Aries? Um, I also feel as well that there was a major, major win. This is like a major victory. This is a situation where there was cause for celebration. You were very happy about a, an outcome of a court case, potentially. You were very happy about being chosen as the winner or the, the, um, the uncontested, you know, victor in a specific situation. A lot of it has to do with arguments. A lot of it has to just do with... Um, I do feel legal issues, arguments. I do feel work situations as well. And uh, you were on cloud nine. You were feeling very hopeful and, and happy about the future. And uh, if it's a major argument with a family member, if you feel like you won a, a victory in an argument over a family member, now you're realizing, you know, the aftermath is that they're not talking to you anymore. You can't go to family functions anymore. And both of you can sit across one another without, you know, seething, you know. So it's one of those things. It's a blessing and a curse. Yes, you got the last word in and you cut the other person down. But at the expense of, you know, family and household harmony. So this is one of those major events happening in for this month where you are going to have to re-examine what it is that you're hoping to achieve because I do feel that when we are too emotionally worked up over a situation um, when we are too basically like too caught up in the the drama and the passion and of it we are not thinking straight so the eclipse happened first of all it's a full moon so that it brings a lot of buried emotions to light. And then it gets really uncomfortable because, you know, all of these things are flooding our brainwaves. And we feel like, we, we feel so overly emotional. And then all of that is basically eclipsed out. So you're forced to, you're kind of like adjusting. Your body and your mind is is forced to adjust so it's a very uncomfortable period of time that you're you're still like you're you're rattled and then all of a sudden you're just like survival mode kicks in and you're like okay what do i do and then you're kind of frazzled and you can't really make uh the right decision and i do sense that you were forced to act in a way where it was very swift where it was very decisive and you felt like you did the right thing but there's definitely ramifications from that that might have caused you know falling out between family members it might have been like um, a situation where you're caught up in the fervor of it you might have invested money that you you that you feel you had and then you realize that it was a poor investment for example with the six of um with the six of pentacles there might have been a situation where you walked out of a home environment mainly because you were feeling a little bit fed up and um, the responsibilities, mortgage and things like that in the home were not taken care of in a timely manner. Okay, When I have Ten of Pentacles in the tower, it indicates to me something major, major and catastrophic. Okay, So I don't want to make this a grim reading, but I do feel that there is definitely recovery happening for this month. And I do feel that it's going to take, unfortunately, all month for you to unstuck yourself, for you to find stability and for you to find grounding. And I do sense that, unfortunately, for a lot of you, it is very family oriented. It is very, very family oriented. Some family situation kind of like blew up and you're picking up the pieces. You're going back and I do feel, you know, you're... You're not cutting your losses because you know that it was like an empty victory. So you're trying to go back and you're trying to fix things. And you're trying to make amends. And you're trying to think about this. You're trying to siphon out the, siphon the experience, reveal the experience through a more rational lens. And you're realizing okay, maybe that wasn't the best route for me to take. I was a little bit hot-headed. I thought it was going to go this way, but then it ended up in this and unintended consequences just um, weighed in on you and you're realizing, okay, I need to 
fix this. So there's definitely something that you need to go back to and repair. And the sooner you do that, the better you're going to be by the end of this month. It is still Mercury in retrograde on the heels, you know, happening during an eclipse. And you are a fire sign. So the eclipse energy and the full moon energy, when they all bundle together, it's a very uncomfortable time period for a lot of fire signs. And uh, you might have acted, you know, rashly based on your emotional response to something. And I do feel that might be why the tower came up for Leos and um, I believe for you, Leos and Sagittarius. I, I believe it was also for Sagittarius. I can't remember now. But I do definitely feel some major rifts within the ha family being mended, okay? It's like... Um, neighbors coming together family members coming together to mend bridges to mend fences to repair things to pick up the pieces and everybody is chipping in to do it in a very communal in a very uh, non-antagonistic type of way so you're seeing this situation unfold before your eyes and you're starting to realize that you know maybe you know, that's the, the best way to go about it so I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to get involved get my hands dirty and repair this situation no one wants to do it but I do feel that every it's a concerted effort everyone has to chip in to get it done and it's going to be done I do feel it will be done and you can move on past it afterwards um, I do feel a little bit of a financial situation a financial dip coming through for you guys this month so be very careful when it comes to spending if you are entertaining guests at your house especially I do feel that it can end up you know in like um, broken broken vase um, broken tables and things like that so just you know be very careful when it comes to in inviting like very very recklessly irresponsible people to come to your house because I'm I'm sensing like somebody somebody like getting too drunk, um, sitting on like a glass table and then thinking they're on the couch and then they're they have a beer, like a a glass bottle of beer, and they slam it on the table thinking that it's soft when and then the, the glass breaks and things like that. So that's a very strong image I'm getting, and I do feel it can be in a living room. A living room windows things like that okay so just be very careful about repairs for windows and living rooms and if you must entertain guests remove the glass table from as the centerpiece just remove it because it, i feel like you know cuts and bruises coming through as a result of these queen and page of sword energies um i do feel that um for those of you who are involved with air signs, I've been saying this for months, but for those of you who are involved with air signs, I do feel that this month is the month that you're going to realize how much they're stepping up, how much they're, they're um, how devoted they are to you. You know, in, in the course of the month, you have... Ten of Swords, you have the Tower, you have the Ten of Pentacles. You have a lot of cards that denotes endings. And yet by the beginning and that by the end of the month, the air sign is still standing there. So I do feel this is like ultimate devotion here. This can be a mother figure. This can be a significant other. I do feel that they're different people. This might be a situation where it's like um, mother and child. If you have a child and you and your child are kind of like just butting heads, there is going to be healing taking place this month where you're realizing that, you know, we don't have to agree, but at least we have to work together. And I know that, you know, I'm biologically, I'm your daughter and I'm younger than you. And you, I, I feel like I know more things than you, but I'm going to be respectful because you're my mother. It's one of those things. Or you're telling your, your teenage daughter or your teenage son that despite your biological age, I'm going to respect that you know what you're doing. So there's definitely some type of truce. People are not fighting anymore. There's definitely situation regarding children, home, family members. And usually the family relationships are the most karmic. So those are the people that know how to push our buttons. And they, they do it in very insidious, very discreet ways. And I do feel once and for all, this is the month for things to basically, you know, 
come to light so that you both can reach a truce. Both parties can reach a truce. But like I said, if you're involved with an air sign, Sagittarius, excuse me, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libras, I do feel despite everything happening, you know, all these things that are that can happen within the span of a month do happen within the span of the month. They're still standing by the end of the month. They're still around in for, to help you to lend the support and to and I don't feel they're judgmental this time. They might start out the beginning of the month very skeptical, very judgmental. By the end of the month, they're kind of like, I'm willing to help you. I'm here if you need me. So I do feel that this is one of those relationships where if you're in, by the end of this month, you're going to know if this air sign is going to be around. I do feel that they are going to be around to help you pick up the pieces and help you repair some broken things around the house, some broken ego, some bruise, some some cuts and scrapes, okay? So they're going to be there to help you get through it. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Um, I'm seeing. There's definitely reconciliation with family members. There's definitely renewal in a relationship with an air sign. I do feel that um, for a lot of you, okay, strong message coming through. For a lot of you, um, you've, this is not going to apply to all, but I do feel that in general, Aries are very, um, are very strong will. You're very ambitious. Once you set your mind to something, you always succeed, okay? Aries Scorpio always always succeed Virgos too but Virgos it takes a longer time but I do feel like you know out of the zodiac you and Scorpios and you are pretty basically the the first to succeed and I do feel that um for based on the events that unfold this month for a lot of you you spend a lot of time with the works environment in the work sphere you know working really hard very very diligently in order to get ahead and it's not about the money, but it's mainly about the prestige for you. You are very, very, you're aiming to be in the limelight. You want the attention, not in a bad way, but I do feel you want validation. You want recognition. It's not about working for the money, but you do want to be the trailblazer. You want the recognition. As a result of it, you might have lost track of what's important in your life which is the family relationships, which is, you know, spending time with people before they expire and transition to the other side. So these are moments in between that reminds us of our mortality, that reminds us these are humbling experiences that we will experience many times through our lifetime when we are a little bit way too far in the clouds. And they bring us back down to earth because they're teaching us a very humbling uh, lesson, which is that you really have to get grounded and you have to realize what's important in your life. You know, it's the relationships. It's being there for people when they need us. It's about, you know, holding somebody's hands when they transition over and saying, like making sure that you grieve, that you that you you basically you know you um it's or it's almost like you can be in you, you can have a relationship for example with somebody and you know through many relationships there's always ups and down and then when the breakup happens for example that's when we're very upset we're resentful and we're bitter and we're just we hate the other person however you have to think back through the course of that relationship there were many, many ups and downs. The highs were there. The lows were there. So if you were to wash your hands of that relationship and just say, good riddance, that's not a mature way of looking at it. Relationships come together so that we can learn from one another. Despite how it transpired, how it descended into chaos, you know, despite the towards the tail end of it when things fell apart, despite all of that, there were still good moments in between, and those are the things that you really want to examine under a microscope, actually. The, the bad things, the, the negative moments, are the things that will 
we will always take with us. But sometimes we lose track that there were good times in the relationship, you know. So you want to like uh, re-examine the entire situation in a very impartial, unbiased way so that you can get and learn the most out of that experience, whatever it was that transpired, even though it was a hard lesson, there's definitely some important things to extract from it, okay? But the point of this is, I do feel, I do feel a little bit of regret, and I do feel a lesson learned the hard way, unfortunately for you, Aries. I do feel a lesson learned the hard way, mainly because timing was not on your side, and as a result of it, you're going to realize that time is important to you. And you're going to devote your time to areas, to channels, to people that matter to you. So you're going to make like a promise to yourself. I'm not going to waste time with this, but this is something I'm going to invest my time in. So timing is a huge, huge, huge lesson here. And it's not about, you know... It's not about like the prestige. It's mainly about making the time for the important things. And I know that sounds like generic advice, but I'm going to say, go out on a limb here between the Ten of Swords and the Tower. I do feel somebody might have potentially transitioned over and you wish you had been there at least, you know, to, to see them one last time. Timing, the word time, timing, is it's it's coming in very very strongly and i do feel it might have been the eclipse where somebody like a, a maternal figure is eclipsed out of our lives and we're starting to realize that it's sort of like you're so jacked up on um you're hyped up on fire energy you're a, a fire sign you're you're very amped up with fire and then as soon as this water energy from the moon is eclipsed out of your life, you start to feel it. You start to really, really feel it. And you start to feel nervous. So it's going to be a little bit of a difficult month, Aries. Um, my advice for this is slow down, okay? My advice is surround yourself with family grieve you know give yourself enough time to grieve if it's an end of a relationship you know love relationship went awry you're bitter and you, things have ended dwell on the good aspects i know it's hard but i do feel that you have to do it justice and you have to look it, at it through a very unbiased lens in order to know that you know that was a good relationship we came together for a reason things didn't work out but we're not bad people and we became stronger, better people as a result. So I do feel relationships too that have been shaky will inevitably, you know, fall apart. And unfortunately, it might fall apart this month. But relationship with air signs look very stable for you guys. Um, I'm very sorry for the dark, somber reading. But I do feel that, you know, you're very resilient. You have you have help around you. There's definitely some healing coming through on the home front. There's definitely some elderly parents, some sensing elderly relatives that might be um, in your care. There might be a, a huge family gathering and they're all in your space. So be very patient with family members that are coming in together, especially when, you know, it's a dark time period. Okay. So make sure you make room for family this month. It's very vital. So I hope you have, you know, enjoy your month and try to stabilize things, try to slow down, try to look at things very objectively. I do feel karma getting restored. I do feel balance coming through and lessons, but it's a little bit jarring, but the lessons the karmic lesson has been uh, learned and it is getting restored, okay? 